Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate different Selenium exceptions that arise while we handle alerts. So let's get started. The three different exceptions that generally arise while handling alerts are unhandled alert exception, that is one exception. Then we have timeout exception and no alert present exception. So let me explain about these three different Selenium exceptions that will arise while we handle alerts. Let me quickly switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have this uh, project which is already configured with Selenium library, okay? Latest version of Selenium library. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly create an object. Web driver driver is called a new Chrome driver, let's say. And uh, hold the mouse on this web driver and import this web driver from Selenium and import this Chrome driver class also from Selenium. And then write driver dot manage driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get. Then in this get, I'll provide this URL of the application. Uh, let's say the application name is omaya.blogspot.com, okay? So I'll copy this URL. So here on this application, guys, there is a button, click to get alert button. When I click on this button, I'll get an alert, okay? That's what is the thing. So let me inspect this button so that I can click and get that alert first. So here, this particular button has an ID, okay? This click to get alert button has an ID. I'll copy this ID. And here, I'll write down driver.findElementById. I'll provide the ID of this button, guys. That is alert one. I have co I'll copy this and provide it here and say dot click. Okay. Dot click. After clicking the button, once I click on the button, you'll get an alert. Okay. Now let's talk about this exceptions, unhandled alert exception first. So when the alert is displayed on the page, when the alert is displayed on the page, and if I try to perform other operations, when the alert is kind of displayed on the page, if I try to enter some details into this text area feed or close this browser or whatever the operation you want to do without handing the alert, you're going to get this exception known as unhandled alert exception. Let me show you that, okay? You see, when I click on this button, automatically here alert will be displayed. When the alert is displayed, I'm trying to type my name into this text area field. I inspect this text area field. It has an ID, guys. Copy this ID. And here I'll write down element by dot ID. I'll provide the ID guys and say dot send keys Aaron motor. Okay. Like this, you can write. Save this. I'll run this code, guys. I'll run this code. And uh, you'll see that here an alert will be displayed after this 13th line. When the alert is displayed on the page, if you try to do other operations without handling the alert, you're going to get an exception known as unhandled alert exception. We'll see that, okay? Line 14, we are going to get that exception, guys. Right click run as Java application. And you will see that it will open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser window, and open the application URL. Okay, it will open the browser first, and then it will maximize the browser. Then it will open the application URL in the browser, and it will click on the button so that alert will be displayed. When the alert is displayed, if you are trying to perform other operations, you see, I have not been typed into the text area field. Instead, I got an exception known as here, somewhere here, unhandled alert exception we got, okay? Why we got? When the alert is displayed on the page, you try to perform other operations, okay? So you got an alert. When the alert is open, you try to perform other operation. So it may, it may be like typing other uh, something on the text box or doing some operation on other elements or even closing the browser also will result the same exception, guys, okay? When an alert is displayed on the page, you should not perform any other operation. So I'll remove this, okay? For now, I'll remove this. So one exception I covered for you. So when an alert is displayed on the page, you have to first handle the alert, guys. How to handle the alert? So in, in order for you to perform this operation, guys, uh, that is typing my text into the text area field, okay, before performing that operation, you have to handle this alert. How to handle the alert? You see, you know that at this point, on clicking this button, alert will be displayed. Here at this point, alert is there. So I have to switch to the alert, guys. To switch to the alert, driver dot switch to dot alert, I have to write, right? And this alert method will return you the alert interface. So alert is equal to 
you can simply hover the mouse and say create local variable the return type of this uh, alert method there is alert interface will be added here now using this object reference of this alert interface i'll call a method known as accept the alert if i accept the alert or dismiss the alert the alert will be handled after the alert got handled if you try to perform any other operations on any other elements on the page they will work this time you will see error motor will be typed into the text area feed because here we have handled the alert okay before we have not handled the alert and tried to perform other operation we got unhandled alert exception here but this time since we have handled the alert by accepting the alert by switching to the alert and accepting the alert this time we will not get that exception guys my name will be typed into the text area field okay things will be running fine and smooth let the chrome browser launch maximize open the application url alert will be displayed uh, alert has handled and now my name has been successfully typed into the text area field and in the output we didn't get that exception known as unhandled alert exception because we handled the alert using the 69 18 lines okay so that's the thing now let's go with the timeout exception guys okay when the timeout exception comes okay i'll tell you so guys you see this alert okay this alert when i click on this button let me explain you clearly when i click on when i click on this particular button that is click to get alert button you are getting an alert but this alert is coming in an asynchronous way this is a javascript alert guys when i click on this button this javascript alert is coming but it is coming in an asynchronous way what is synchronous and what is asynchronous you see when i load the page when i load the page whatever the elements are coming on this page are synchronous elements they are coming in a synchronous way okay when the page is loading by the time page load completes you will see this uh, multi selection box coming uh, drop down field coming this image coming this text area field coming text box field coming search button coming all the remaining elements are coming with this page load but do you see any alert coming when the page load no right that means synchronously you are not getting the alert but when i click on the button without the, without the page getting loaded the alert will be displayed that is asynchronous okay without the page getting loaded Okay, the alert will be displayed. You see, when I click on this button, the alert will come, but page will not load. This kind of things without page loading, anything is option or anything is coming. Not only this guys here, you see there is a button guys, drop down button. If I click on this button without the page getting loaded, I am getting these options. These options are coming without the page. This is also asynchronous. Using JavaScript, it is possible. So in case of asynchronous, there's a possibility of delay guys. When I click on the button, it looks like the alert is coming very fast, but maybe in some time because of the network issues or whatever it is, okay, because of the application becoming slow or whatever it is, sometimes what happens is when you click on the button, this alert will be displayed with a delay guys. There is a possibility that this alert may display with a delay. It's not, uh, it's not completely agreed that alert will come on time. Okay, there may be some situation where Alert may take at least some milliseconds of time of delay to get displayed on the page because this is not synchronous. This is asynchronous. Selenium by default will wait only for the synchronous, will not wait for the asynchronous. Selenium will not wait for the asynchronous activities like displaying of the alerts. But when the page loads, when the page is loading till all the elements are loaded and the page loading is completed, Selenium will wait guys for synchronous activities. Selenium will wait, but for when you click on the button for the alert to be displayed, this is an asynchronous activity. So if this is taking time, okay, most of the cases will not take time, but in some cases, random cases, one out of thousand cases, alert may take some time to display on the page. In that cases, in that cases, what will happen? Okay, Selenium will not weigh it and you will get some exceptions. Okay, you will you'll get some exception, guys. Okay. So I cannot give you a perfect example where you will get that kind of exception where selling where this asynchronous alert is getting coming with a delay because it's not in my hands. It depends on some situations in real time and also stuff. So just to make sure that just to make sure that okay, just to make sure that uh, the alert is displayed on the page and then only we are switching to the alert and all. What we are going to do is okay, we are going to wait for the alert explicitly. Okay, as part of best practices, even though most of the cases alert will come on time, it's an asynchronous JavaScript alert will come on time, but still just to not take any risk or not take any uh, complete uh, confidence on alert will come on time. Okay, 
as a best practice, we have to wait for the alert before switching to the alert. It's better after clicking on the button and before this alert get displayed, let's wait for the alert case. Then only let's switch to the alert and all those stuff. Okay. Just to be on good side or uh, as part of best practice, nothing will happen right by following the best practices. I'll use this explicit uh, waiting mechanism that is web driver wait, wait is equal to new web driver wait. Web driver wait wait is called new web driver wait tile, right? I'll hold the mode on the web driver wait and import this web driver wait from Selenium library. And here, this constructor cannot be empty. You have to give driver and duration. Uh, web driver means this driver object uh, of the web driver you have to provide after the duration. So, duration dot uh, of seconds. I'll give 10 seconds, guys. That is more than enough. Okay. Even one second also will suffice, but I'm just giving 10 seconds because it's smart wait. We don't have to worry. Okay. Do not wait for the maximum time. If the alert is coming beforehand, do not wait for. 10 seconds maximum time is 10 seconds that's it okay wait dot until expected conditions dot here there is a method known as alert is present method okay alert is present method i'm waiting okay like this we have to wait for the alert before performing the operation guys whether the alert uh, will come on time or doesn't come on time uh or it's the best practice that we write these two lines and we are waiting for the alert and for 10 seconds we are giving for the alert to be displayed uh, because there may be some situations where the JavaScript alert may take some time internally. It may be in milliseconds of delay also, but Selenium will not wait for that kind of thing. So things may not work out. Now you see, if you run the script, it will work fine. Okay, my name will be typed into the text here. If it uh, will wait for the alert uh, and will switch to the alert and handle the alert and then uh, will type the name into the text area field. Everything will should happen properly now. Alert has come handled and my name got typed in text variable. There's no problem in this, right? This we are waiting mechanism is fine. Now let's say I'm going to show you this two exceptions, timeout exception and no alert present exception one by one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is what will happen? Let's say I'm not clicking on this button. I'm commenting out this line guys. That is, I'm not clicking on this button guys. Okay. There's a button here, right? Click to get alert button. If I click on the button only alert will come. But what I'm doing is I'm not clicking on that button. So alert will be displayed. No, if the alert is not displayed and waiting mechanism is implemented before switching to the alert, which type of exception will come when there is no alert displayed on the page, but I'm waiting for the alert. If the alert is not present, even though I'm waiting for the alert, if the alert is not displayed on the page, uh, beyond this 10 seconds, which exception will come, we will get timeout exception, timeout exception. So run this code, right? to run as a job application. You'll see you'll get a timeout exception because you are waiting for an alert to be displayed or present on the page, but alert is not present on the page. You are waited for 10 seconds, but still alert has not come. So that's where we'll get this timeout exception. Alert has not come. And by this time you will see it's still running guys. It's, it will wait for 10 seconds guys. It will wait for 10 seconds. And finally it will give you after 10 seconds. Since alert has not come, it will give you timeout exception at line 21. Okay, this particular 21 line is waiting for the alert to be present for maximum of 10 seconds it waited. Still alert has not displayed on the page and that's the reason we got this exception known as time, timeout exception. Let's say we have not implemented this web driver wait. Okay, we have not implemented this web driver wait and we are not waiting for the alert and here alert is also not coming. Okay, when I say driver dot find element, I commented this line means, okay, I commented this line means I'm not clicking on this button. If I'm not clicking on this button, the alert will not come. So if, 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 if the button is not clicked and alert is not displayed and still you are trying to switch to the alert, what will happen? You'll get an exception known as no alert present exception. Okay. If you are not waiting, if you're waiting, you will get timeout exception. If an alert is not there, but if the waiting mechanism is not implemented and still, if you are switching to the alert, you are trying to switch to the alert when the alert is not displayed on the page. In that case, you will get no alert present exception. Okay. Different, different cases guys. Okay. You'll see, you'll get. You are trying to switch to the alert when the alert is not there on the page. In that case, driver dot switch to that alert statement will give you an exception known as no alert present exception. Let's see here. Let's see here. You'll get no alert present exception. Okay. No alert. There's no alert present on the page. You are trying to switch to the alert at which line? 20th line. When you are trying to switch to the alert, but alert is not there on the page, that's where you'll get. No alert present exception. So these are the three Selenium exceptions. That is unhandled alert exception, timeout exception, and no alert present exceptions, which may result, okay, because of the situations while handling the alerts using Selenium. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.